Hey folks, welcome back. I'm a rough pebble and I'm excited to be diving into some Songs of Six, a really fantastic colony builder, um, 4x strategy game. The most recent update, um, which is why I'm playing this again, brings a really uh, overhauled um, overworld. So it's much more of like a 4x like Civ type thing. Um, than what it was in the past. So really excited to be checking it out. We're going to dive in with a new game. We'll start a random game here. I'm going to put everything on hard plus. <clears throat> so we'll just do hard plus there. Um, there's one more level of difficulty above that, but for now we're going to stick with hard plus. You have to select the species. Um, all species have unique play styles, excel at different works, and have different likings and dislikes. Um, and while I'm about to just choose a species here, that doesn't mean that I'm precluded from playing with others or, or anything of that nature. We're going to start with the Dundarians. I think that is going to be fun. They are the most challenging. Um, they are excellent miners, craftsmen, and hardy in combat, but they are bad at educating, food production, uh, and they want to live in the mountains. So we'll start with them. Uh, pick five unlock tile titles to boost your name. No, I'm good. I'm going to leave it as is. We're just going to start with no titles. Uh, our map type will look something like this. Sure. Um, the latitudes, all of that looks good. We'll go ahead and just generate that. So uh, the world generation is a little bit different, I think, too. Uh, here we can see where the various resources are. Uh, we can see where, uh, if I were to um settle here what the fertility looks like all of that um definitely want to settle on some of these resources here so i think that would be good um here's some coal and some stone uh something of that nature would be nice um maybe even something with some gems or something like that uh there's three gems and some uh some up here um but for now, I'm just going to regenerate this, um, and this is looking pretty cool over here. Um, I don't know. I'm going to look around for a little bit, try to find a suitable place for us to settle down with some suitable uh, stuff, and I will meet up with you all in just a moment once I do that. All right, I think I found a place that is going to be suit our needs very well. So this area right here is going to contain some of the gems. It is going to contain some of the coal and ore that we're going to need. So I think that this is a perfect spot. There's mountains, there's forests. Um, I think we'll be able to do some, some interesting stuff here. So let's go ahead and settle right here on the edge of this little lake. Um, and we will try to, and this is the Duchy of Playden. Um, this is Rid Ridge, Freelands, the Munmulder Mold, Mun Mountains. Okay. Um, and we have a, and this is the capital of Bereik. Interesting. Okay, you're on the other side of this. Um, it looks like maybe a, mostly a mountain, uh, town. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and hit OK here. Let's go ahead and move forward. So here uh, we have our um, location. Here we can see that there are a ton of gems here. There's some some clay. There's some gems here as well. Uh, some iron. Some some coal. A variety of different foods and things over here lots of rivers um so we'll probably have much of our um food production over here it looks like let's see maybe we can take a look at um oh, we need to put our landing party down somewhere um this is probably where we're gonna do a fair amount of our mining holy cow this is all gems There's just a ton of gems over here. Look at this. Okay, lots of gems over here. Fantastic. Same here. Holy cow. Okay, lots of gems. Um, let's put our town 
I think right here. I think this is a good... Actually, maybe over here is a, is a good space. We can see that there's some fertility. 40... 50 more fertility down here. 86. Okay, so that's good. Um, this is not really fertile over here. Okay, and we've got some herbs over on this side. Some opiates up here. Alright. Let's put you down right here, then. Alright, we'll put you right here. We'll have access to some farmlands down here. Let's go ahead and settle in. So, first thing we want to do is build a road. We'll build um, a nice flat, uh, nice area here. Um, we'll be able to add in a... If I go to civics and health, we'll put a nice well in here. Let's do a nice well here. So now he, we can see that we've got our citizens. They are going to go off. Some of them are going to swear fealty to our throne. Uh, some of them are going to come over here, start building a well. Some are going to dig up the uh, dirt around this throne. Um, great. We can bring in some more Dundarians. That's totally fine. Um, I would like to start putting in some housing here as well. So let's get some homes. Um, you all like, let's see, homes, longhouses. Homes out of stone, I think, are what, uh, what our friends here do like. Um, three, and then pop one here. Let's just do a couple homes like this. Um, we can do a nice long house. Ooh, that's a funky shape now. Um, we can do something like that. Put a house here. And then a long house like this. Um, I would actually cancel this one here. So let's go here and... Smart remove and remove that. Um, we'll put in a road over here as well to get some paths to the front front doors of our homes. Um, we also need a storage area. I think we'll probably want some storage back here. Um, we're going to want to clear out some of these rocks out all the rocks that are around us. We'll want to harvest some of the trees around here as well. Now all of these trees will regrow uh, in due time. All right, so we can speed up time a little bit. Our, our citizens will um, quickly begin uh, building out the roads and the well and chopping down the trees and then hopefully harvesting some of these rocks all of that will come together here um, We still we can see that within here. We've got some rations some livestock some fruit and clothing and, and whatnot. That's all good All right, let's get these homes built out Okay, yes. Mine out the stone here. Perfect. Chop down the trees. All of that's important as well. Okay, here we need 20 wood and then 80 of the stone. 
Okay. Um, let's remove some of these tasks. Go ahead and remove all of these tasks here. Just go for the stone. Okay, fantastic. Get a little bit more of, this, of the wood here and that'll be good. Let's see some of the early growth coming back in after we chop down those trees. All of this does need to get ultimately chopped down. Let's go ahead and do it. And here we'll go to clear the rocks, yes. Okay, and we're in early spring right now, so we can't really do much in terms of harvesting uh, food or anything like that, but we will be able to harvest some wild edibles, the mushrooms, the er, uh, the, the fruit here, there's some vegetables over on this side. We can come over here and grab those. Uh, we'll grab the opiate up here as well. Some more opiate down here. Some herbs down there as well. And this is a really big ore deposit, okay. Alright, a fair bit of coal here. Fair bit of coal here, okay. And then probably some down here, yeah. Okay. How's it going here? We've started to put together some of the stone. Yes. Hauling the stone in for our well. Perfect. Okay. We've got the well coming in. Our citizens will be able to eat, or to, to drink and refresh themselves here. Here, I would do housing. Um, and maybe in an apartment like this here. finish the construction of our well. We're gonna rename our well. We'll call this the, uh... The... Royal Well. Uh... The Wishing... The Golden Waters call it. He has a 7.8 load, so there are a few folks using it, not a ton. We can upgrade it with some uh, other materials. We'll leave the golden waters alone there. Alright. We need some more homes. We can bring in more Dundarians if we wanted. First, though, let's go ahead and just build out all of these. Two, four, six, eight, and this will give us a little bit more home here. Okay. And, oh, and we can build an embassy. We should build a hearth. I'll put the hearth here. We can build a road around it, like this. The hearth will keep our citizens warm in the cold winter. 
and this will keep our citizens uh, hydrated during the hot summers. Um, we also are going to need... Let's see here. A barber. We're going to need an eatery. We're going to need a speaker. Let's see. Um, entertainment. Let's go ahead and put one of those in. We can put the speaker right here. In front of the throne. Where everybody can hear him. Okay. The speaker's pedestal. The uh, high horse. We'll call this the high horse. Available services. There are some folks that are coming, chatting. Um, community hearth. We could upgrade this if we needed to, but again, we need some more resources. Let's go ahead and slow things down just for a moment. Housing, we have five folks who are homeless. Um, this can get upgraded. Oh, I see. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. Okay. It just needs certain things. So if we wanted to go into here and we wanted to go to access and we could give folks all the wood and the uh, stone that they need because there's plenty of it laying around here, uh, they can go ahead and grab that. Um, I would like to build out a road a little bit further up this way. Um, I think we'll have much of our farms and things down here. Yes. I think we can have a wall that maybe goes around this way. Um, we'll have some production over this way, some stone. We'll probably have a lot of our farms and things, or uh, our husbandry out this way. Maybe even out here. Maybe we dig something through here and then have access to all of this. Um, I do think... That we should build a road out I think it's down here that all of our stuff is gonna be let's go ahead and put in a logistics warehouse uh, make this one out of out of wood Okay. Let's do something like this. We can cut this down. Uh, we can do some crates like this. Um... And then I think maybe something like this could be good. Um, I think we, maybe we could do something like that. Or don't like this too much like this. Um, maybe we can add in one more thing like this. We'll put in the... Hold on one moment. Alright, sorry about that. I've fixed up the uh, warehouse here. We're going to use 116 stone... Uh, a little less than 300 wood for this. Um, we have a fair amount of crates set up here. This is going to be our granary. 
for all of the farms and things that we have down here. Um, I think we'll have a door here and a door here. Uh, I think that should be good. Maybe even some doors... And use the right click to get rid of them and then have some doors here like that okay i think that's good uh it's built out of wood but there's a little bit of stone required um the shape is nice it's not fully round it's not fully square um let's do it okay uh they are continuing to build a road up this way and what else have we built the the high horse yes and then the community hearth all right and I just love the aesthetic of this game. I love how you can see the wind move through the trees. You can see the petals and things off the flowers. You can see where all the <clears throat> fertile lands are. You can see the ch seasons change as well. Um, so again, having a hearth here is good, especially as we go into winter. Um, five citizens are still homeless here. Um, okay. Um, I'll put some more housing over here. Oops. Okay. Um, did we harvest, have we harvested anything out here yet? Um, we have some mushrooms here, yes. Let's finish this, uh, this warehouse, and then we can actually finally store everything that we have. <clears throat> so right now, everything just sort of sitting out here, potentially rotting. This is almost done. So the warehouse is very critical, uh, something that you want to get up quick and fast. Um, it doesn't have to be permanent. I wouldn't think of anything here as permanent necessarily. We can definitely move things, mold things, create a much more interesting um, city later on. For now, we need utility. So trying to get a nice big warehouse here close to our where our fields are going to be. Um, trying to harvest some, uh, some food here, building a few wooden houses because some folks like stone houses, some like wooden. So getting a little mix and blend of those is also nice. Um, gives people the opportunity and option for uh, where they may or may not want to live. Okay. Okay. So that does only allow for one person. Okay, I see. That gives two. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, we need... Let's get a long house going here. Civics, housing. Uh, we'll make it out of stone. We'll get a long house. Alright, we'll do something like this. And then... Um, actually, let's go ahead and smart remove that then. That doesn't quite fit there, um, and we can build it somewhere else instead. Uh, we'll build the longhouse here. We'll just sort of build it off to the side. get that built out that should be enough housing for the last of our couple of folks here how many can live in this long house is it three four maybe this is almost done construction continues they're starting to put in the barrels the crates all the storage items that we're gonna need very good uh-huh uh, the, uh, the Royal Granner, Granary, 
we are going to keep a little bit of everything in here. Um, I would like to keep some stone or some wood in here. So we'll have five crates set aside for wood. We'll have five crates set aside for stone. Uh, we can put some livestock in here, some clay, some coal, some cotton, some gems, some grain. These are the herbs, leather, opiates, if we can collect any, ore, citalon ore. We can put one of each of these. These are our uh, luxury items and things we're going to need for uh, various construction later. Um, I don't need to dedicate a ton of space for them right now. And ultimately, this will convert into a granary. We're just going to keep everything in there for right now uh, to relieve our throne room, as well as take things off the ground here. So we'll let them carry things around for a little bit. Yep, there they go. Putting it into the various um, storage places. So here we're putting all the wood into, uh, into our warehouse. Um, it would also be good to put in a construction janitor. Aha! Uh -huh. And we'll make you... <clears throat> we'll make a janitor here. Um, okay, we could maybe make a little bit more space here and do, oh, we'll need some utilities. Okay, let's close this down. Put these, uh, I see, okay. Um, put those in. And then put in this. Um, we're going to do something like this and then do do I even need that? Yeah. We'll need this. Okay. Uh, we can bend that in, kink it in just a bit. Um, and this will be our janitor. Make it out of stone, sure. Construct this. Oh, and we need doors. We'll put a door here and a door here. We'll get one off the main road, and then this little alley here will allow for the janitors to go in and out as well. The janitor is gonna help fix up our buildings, keep everything nice and clean, organized here we have hauled in all of our wood we've hauled in all of the resources um, that we had available to us oh there's still a little bit of wood here let's go ahead and get this done we do need one more house uh, this is housing one person be good to have a little bit more housing then janitor's set up you're bringing in the stone? No, it's still out. It's still out here. Okay, there we go. All right, and now let's go ahead and employ one janitor. I think that's sufficient. One day we'll probably need more, but for right now, a single janitor is fine to keep everything nice and 
fixed up. So here we can see that we have zero degradation. Um, so that's great. So we have a place to store our goods. We have uh, some natural resources that we're able to harvest here. We're going to continue cutting down some trees. We have a place for everyone to live. Um, we can bring in some more Dundarians. Um, let's go ahead and right-click on them here. It's going to bring up the citizen panel. Panel. Uh, I can look at all of our citizens, and we can sort of look at how they're treated, uh, the services that they have access to generally. Um, but here we're going to take a look at specifically our Dundarians, which is totally fine. We can set sort of uh, race-specific policies here. You can see that our folks have a new spot access. They have a well access. Um, they have a hearth access, so all of that is good. Um, a lot of other things that we're going to need here, ultimately. Um, in terms of access, yes, we've given them full access to stone and wood, uh, so that's great. Uh, you can see that their homes are a little bit more furnished um, than they were without the, the stone and the wood, so that's really, really nice. Uh, in terms of environment, we can see that their building preference, their squareness is set up. Um, so that's really, really good to see, too. Um, we can bring in some more Dundarians. So we can see that there are four aspiring immigrants here. I can authorize all four of them. We can set that number a little bit lower. Uh, we can auto set this. So we can set this to like uh, 25 or 75 or whatever. Um, for now, let's go ahead and set it to... Let's bring in two more citizens. We don't want to grow our population too fast, um, and we'll want to start setting up a, um, maybe a husbandry. I think probably Arok would be the best. Um, so I think we'll do, um, I mean, I think we'll do some animals out here. This is, yeah, 46, 50, I mean, it's not that great, but it's perfect for animals. So we can do uh, husbandry, we'll do the Arak. Here we can see that it's going to cost us wood. Uh, we can see what the accident rate is, something we want to avoid and, and minimize as much as possible. We can see it's going to produce meat, it's going to produce leather, and it's going to produce uh, other livestock. Um, so I think we should maybe get that going. I think our folks, our Dundarians, will like that uh, moderately. Um, we can get something going here. Alright, set that there. And then there's only a little bit of space here that we'll be able to push out. Okay, um, let's put in a gate here. Um, okay, cool. Let's do that. <clears throat> Construct Arak Pasture. It's going to require 225 wood, and we'll get some food going here as, as, as well. There we go. We'll get a nice path going to the food production, um, which we do have some livestock currently stored, stored away here. We have 12, so we can grow that 12 into a larger population of livestock here. Um, yes, the janitor is, is busy at work. We've got all of the um, housing that we need currently. And with that, I'm going to end this episode. Thanks for watching, everyone. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe, like, all that good stuff to keep up with more of the content around Songs of Six, as well as some other fun games that I like to play. Um, take care.